We saw Marv lurking in ABAF quite a lot. He's had a friend this time, at least. Rox is going to be holding on this angle. Marv more than happy to bait away. Will Daps expect somebody on this camera too? Or this corner at least? Yes, yeah, he he's a little leg. Look at that. He's just going to peek him at the right time. He tries to get the follow up onto Marv. He can do that. That's too. Straightforward stuff. The teleport is going to be used by Baby Bay. Oh. Daps gets a third. That's a nice little crisp hot headshot with the Spectre. Just up to Zachary now, who is miles away from the action. You would imagine from this point two zero NRG. Oh, for sure. 1v5 with the classic. He's going to have to cleanly take down EU, who's right around the corner at half HP. One right click will do it. Tag comes out, but he wasn't trusting it, apparently. And with that, EU will clear up the final. Who's considering going through the dark cover, but we'll think the better of it, saying we've got weapons. We don't want to give away any of these. Let's just make sure we play our numbers correctly in this 5v4. Base can afford to slow down the tempo now with the man advantage. Baby Bay is going to be the one to rotate. He's the lowest health, so he's going to be not really facing up front. But Corey very aggressively holding this corner. That's the right idea to spray it, but the ADS might have been better just to get that headshot at that point. It's forced out who could control from NRG, but they've taken left. all this space on long, and the paranoia mm -hmm. is going to put Corey out. Corey needs to be able to survive for as long as humanly possible. Som's going to come through, but it gets tagged through the cyber cage. Baby being good for a trade. Effie's through the wall, able to find one more. Boombot coming through. That has to be dealt with, and that needs to be the one responsible. Now Kohler on the way in, but is he a little bit too late, you wonder? Barb and Corey are good for a couple, but Kohler for three. Time a problem. Has to pick up the spike and plant, and while he does that, it's going to be Zach on the way in. Kohler, do you respond in time? On. Good game is a key aspect, but that running back from Cole is going to be used again. Lamp's control is so integral for holding off these retakes, but it's Marv that gets that first blood. The wraparound is pretty decent and a lot of space taken from NRG, but FaZe Clan have survived the brunt of this attack. They're playing for the retake. The question here is that they know that Corey is actually isolated in showers because Effie's who used it from the shadows to get to heaven was low. Rockus, this is a good Hunter's Fury. He connects with one and will secure Kohler. Teleporter play will come one out to Hookah. But the 1v1 between Daps and Corey and showers will tilt the way of FaZe Clan. And the important round that you were framing up, Ryan, is looking good for now for FaZe Clan. But you've got EU with both shock darts, full HP, and a recon bolt. And if he gets a single kill, he's got a Hunter's Fury to play with. As the Aldrin will come through, he also is going to hear the teleporter from behind. And as he gets scouted out, he just seems to try to stay alive. And the recon bolt will be enough to eventually uh, secure the kill. And FaZe Clan will get on the board. Yeah, really good round from pay, uh, FaZe Clan. They post so, a lot to be learned about this round coming forward, especially with the amount of ultimates like you're firming up that could potentially come through here. A very patient approach for NRG. First blood not going to be confirmed yet. Corey, do you see anything from this angle? It's like he's just going to play for... Somebody trying to enter in from the side of showers, not necessarily contest anybody who's playing passively through this archway. Shoulder tech comes through and, oh boy, Corey doesn't normally lose fights like that, but he does. This time though, Marvin and Zach are good for a couple. Paranoia gonna come through, maybe they up top, able to help out. And the last one left is gonna be Effies for a 1v3. He sees the head, but can't quite lock down the shot. Baby Bay confirming and phase plan, they get two in a row. Baby Bay wants to put his team in a closed qualify. It would be a disaster if they don't make it. He's just staring down the barrel. I thought the screen froze for a second because everybody just stopped. Hmm. All of that utility coming out. Baby Bay's going to be able to peek it and Whoa. get the first kill. They're really learning on how NRG wants to play this. That is an insane peek from Baby Bay. And a needed kill, to be fair. So 4v4, showstopper used for base play defensively. Corey, though, blocked by a bit of the hot hands. Does he check left or right? He's got to make a decision. And as the you rocket fuse run. comes through, he's going to go right side. He still gets a kill into Sam. And Kohler's position will be made aware. Defender lockdown will also come into play. Baby Bay can't lock down the shots. And Kohler is able remain. to take advantage as he finds another kill. <laughs> can't quite get the lockdown, though. And with that, Baby Bay with an opportunity. As he's going to find one. And the detain comes through. He'll get the right click on the knight. 1v1. Cloud bursts are through. It's a Spectre to play with. Spy Cam comes out, but it's not going to find any information. And Baby Bay knows he's got an advantage as the shots come through. Now he's got to win the gunfight. Can he get there in time? It's going to be close. He's got four kills looking to clutch on up. And the time is barely good. Half a second remain in phase. The run it back denied plus the first blood will put NRG to a complete stall. It just comes down to how do you execute now? Wait, some will be spent. Rock is able to find one, but there's the trade. Maybe they're able to find one more through the cloud burst, trying to find the final kill. Not going to grab it, though. The spike carrier, meanwhile, has dropped. 
and it will be a 1v3 left. for EU to try to work with with only 25 seconds. And one bullet if he reloads. He doesn't know exactly where FaZe Clan are going to be stood. They could hear him. Judging off the minimap, he might be okay, but he's really calling. The nice jiggle peek there to take the fight, but nice play from Marv to peek off the other side of the metal tin can. FaZe Clan take. Win the last three to uphold that statistic. Marv, a lot of information. Quick paranoia coming through. Intellection denied the curveball peep, but the second one comes out. Marv will be caught in the corner. Baby Bay not able to hit any shots. And with that, Dap's able to get the long range stinger into play. So now all of a sudden, energy and a light by looking good until Rockus has something to say about it. But all of that said and done, we're going to get ourselves a 2v2 and energy are going to get some weapon upgrades. Bay's trying to wrap around. You've got Zachary on heaven with the utility. Going to put out the turret maybe to just see if it could scout up some intel. But Corey's on a mad One flank. The smoke has given up his position. And he gets One that fight. He's remaining. not going to get it against Dapso. But Zachary has a rough idea on where he is. Utility coming out to try and take this fight one-on-one. -on -one. The camera is going to be placed. Zachary going to touch a defuse. Which side is Daps going to come out on? He is going to slowly peek it. And Zachary seems to have it under control. Nice play from FaZe Clan to sort of wrap around, but it's getting close. NRG losing six. Well, first bloods in the last handful of rounds. Nanostorm trying to flush out members. Doesn't really hit where it wants to, but Baby Bay getting aggressive. Som's got to be scratching his head and saying, you're really peaking that. And if you've been watching Baby Bay play over the last week and a half, the answer is say, yeah, of course I'm going to peak that. So now it's down to NRG in a 3v5. A pivotal gun round coming through. Rockus continuing to play over through ramps. Marv on the other side. They will combine for the final three and phase plan. Go flawless again on the defense. To the majority of those defenders, but this is going to be a straightforward A hit after seeing so many on B long. It's just gaps on this site. You can't do it all. An interesting phase clan hearing this teleporter play come through from A long are actually going to stick for this plant and not rewrap back over to B. So with this actually being toggled back and forth, kind of deciding where they want to plant this spike, there's a good chance that NRG could maybe just overwhelm, but the weapon's just too strong. Phase clan staying clean, Marv! Goodness me, just holding down left click. But I'm curious to see how he's going to use it on the attack. Oh, he's going to catch out some little 1v1 through shower. Big first blood again, FaZe Clan eliminate the threat of the Operator early. Paranoia will come Deploy through long. Going. EU's going to immediately go to the Aldra just to see if there's anyone pushing behind that. The answer will be no. It's just the Omen that's there. And this is just, again, a little bit of a show of presence. And the fact that Marv even finds one is fine. He would have loved to have kept his life, obviously. But the fact of the matter is you've got a 4v3. And this was just bait from Marv. This is FaZe Clan looking to put a design plan over towards an A to execute. It's a shame that the Jet and the Phoenix have dropped for NRG. The ultimates are available there. Effies has picked up the Operator. It was bequeathed to him from Som. And the Execute is going to come in from Phase Clown to A. It's a nice paint shell, but it wasn't expected Daps to close in that distance. His aim training wasn't good enough there. Zachary is able to actually get the kill from Baby Bay. Trying to be a nuisance, a big distraction. Effies with the Operator. Is it going to quite spot Zachary on this angle? Oh. He misses the shot. Really should have hit that. Baby Bay is going to continue to push, but NRG, Effie, he's able to get it. Nice 1v1, but Zachary is completely paranoid at this point. Left. It's the Operator versus a Vandal. He doesn't stick the plant. He was trying to bait. He should know that from his teammates calling out the damage that Effie's is down to 6 HP, so just don't give him an angle off this Operator and you should be okay. Keyword is should be. This is a really good plant position. It'll be wide out in the open. Zach is going to play a bit of an off angle here through a link. Effies has to check literally everything. So now it's just down to the timing of this play. He's going to go to the sheriff. Alarm bot will come through. That'll push him back a little bit longer. And again, the time and the health that Zach has to play with is just so favorable. He's going to even walk a little bit further forward. Spike Diffuse will be toggled. Zach able to find the third kill, and FaZe Clan will be up 11. As a lockdown, if he wants to choose to use it, first blood point of contact could come through here, and Sam not going to be equal to the task. Beyond that, Zach finds a second, and that will be two members gone off the A site, but still no commitment as far as where they want to go as Daps is able to take down Baby Bay, so the operator is off the table. Nice elbow control from Effie, so he's going to be sort of watching the line. He has a trip wire there to protect him as well, just in case. He used spots quite a lot, though. The smokes, the cyber cages came through. The alarm bot is going to be immediately destroyed from this angle from Effie. He tries to spray, but the majority of damage comes in onto him. Lockdown available on the attack of Face Clan going to intend to use it. Yeah, it's a big round. Zach will fall back over through B long and place. Effie's, he's looking to be trying to push this. 
Needs to find a kill and needs to find it quickly. Knows one's around the corner, but the shots, they don't even connect at all. Corey punishes. Now to a 2v4. Lockdown will fade, but so so have the chances you feel like of NRG. Although there is some good information gathering here. Paranoia will stall the hit from coming through, and now time is a big problem. Zach will find his third kill. Zap's making it interesting, but there's no choice besides just to back away and save. And then RG, only really to run it back that was used. I mean, you just think about what this match has looked like outside of the first four rounds, and this has been a sheer out blowout. Sam will find two. Corey, though, able to find a couple of trades. So as FaZe Clan are dealing with the aggression of NRG, they're going to have to make a choice as far as what do you want to do with this back minute 20 as they go even on the trades. I got the spike. They're still looking to sort of head over to B. The rotation has come in from Effie's at this point. He is from the Shadows too, so he should be really anchoring his sight just so he can rotate as quick as possible. Some gets two. He's been relatively quiet so far across this game, but Bladestorm is finding impact. Daps is still over on A. He's going to be late to the party as this V-Site is looking to be hit unless a teleport play comes out, but judging from how FaZe are looking at this, they're going to be sticking it, but did they expect this jet on the other side? Actually, no, they're, they're thinking about it. And they're going to actually go for this A play, and Daps is there waiting. Or not, well, maybe be a bait. The ultimate's Only available for the Omen, so... They're going to stick this. Left. Information coming through. Showstopper on the way through. Sob is going to peek! He had the concealment hiding in the corner! And he tries to come through, he gets punished. Corey finds Effie's on site. Daps is forced to rotate through Hookah. Dark cover will close off his approach. Fortunate for him to find one kill. Planted. So still doable for a 1v2. But do you expect Mar to be holding a corner? And Daps- Throw up on bind. The buy should be good from them now. They're actually gonna face a lot of aggression on C, mostly from Baby Bay, who wins that engagement against Effie's with the Stinger. And this execute coming up oh. against Corey getting in more. Ooh, NRG. It's it's a tough one. This. Uh, I mean, Baby Bay doesn't even need to find kills right here. He can just stay alive, but you can you can see the plain disrespect based by saying, "We're the better squad. We'll just go in." Corey unfortunately denies the rest of the dismiss channel. As EU Got will find well. one more kill, but uh, you mentioned Marv coming from the back. It's going to be red, but the shots just are not there whatsoever. F from somewhere, they are going to be in a pistol round at this point. Marv is going to be holding that W button. It's going to peek into two people, but Cola gets that headshot. That's a good start. They have the man up and the Empress is out for uh, Corey. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure on the call for the Empress this soon. I mean, granted, the fact that he's earned it in three rounds is incredible. He will find one kill, but isn't able to dismiss it. So Sam is there for the trade. This is still a very doable 3v3. And I don't know, maybe there's something to be considered about the fact that FaZe Clan maybe not playing as cleanly as they should be. It gives an opportunity for NRG to steal away around. They've got no business winning. So now as the Aldrin comes through defensively for the retake, Sam's going to try to follow up behind it. Deals with the sentry turret, but Zach is able to find one more kill. And with that, it's now a 3v2. Zach's still locking down the same angle. Baby B on the rotation back around is actually looking for a knife for a moment. It's not going to be able to find it, and they have officially shrugged back EU, who will only take one more kill before he drops and face himself. Comes away with nothing. He's got some good help. Dismissed from Corey will allow him a chance to see what exactly is inside C Garage. And now all of a sudden, FaZe Clan, they're looking like, hey, we can isolate these players. And the spam shots through the wall are great. But Kohler still needs to be dealt with. And he'll take care of two. Maybe they will finally punish. But that was, I won't even say a full punish because NRG come away the victors of the trades. Now 3v2 to rip the round. Some beautiful shot. And everything will be left down just the one. It's Baby Bay versus the world. He's happy to make a lot of noise. Might not be expecting Effie's, but the, the teleport noise, the shrouded step is going to be heard, and he knows exactly where they're going to be positioned. Effie's doesn't know that he's around this corner, but he still wins the fight. Much better. Nice crisp headshot. NRG. Another running back is available soon for Cole. He's trying to pick up this orb, but he's under a lot of pressure. Face time know that he's there. Som, yet again, find his success. I said the round, the whole map so far for Som has been much better with the operator. Cole is still going to try and face the Eldron, giving up the position. He has a place to get out of there. But he actually gets Marv who uses the teleport. He's good for two, actually. He's going to be facing up into even more, but Raucus at least brings this into a two versus three. They have their ultimate. Staps is going to try and face. 
exactly with the lockdown in a one versus two. Inching on to site, player to his left, doesn't quite fully trust the read. EU finds the who's trying to play through C Garage. And if he can find even one, looking. if not maybe two of these kills, it could be incredible. But he whips the opening shots and Sob punishes. So Rock is going for the plant. Will lead the FaZe Clan having to hold things down on B for a 4v4. This is not the ideal scenario for FaZe Clan. They wanted to go through C Link and plant on C potentially, but now they're kind of backed into a corner. Cola, though. Gets Raucus with a nice headshot through the smoke. The lockdown is still available, but the issue is, is that the Killjoy is in mid. Baby Bay snuck in behind. Again, nobody's checking, but this time he's not going to miss his shots like Corey did. Daps is holding onto that angle. He gets taken through. Just if he's in this one versus two, there's not really enough time to go for this defuse. The alarm bot gives up his position. You would assume that this is going to face Clan's way, but no, it's still a 1v1 between the Omens. It's been watched carefully by Marv. He can what? win the fight. There's not enough time for the defuse, though. So he leaves the retake. They don't really have the ultimates to help him out here. The Killjoy is dead on the side of face Clan 2, so the lockdown isn't going to be available to help them out here. Effie is trying to rotate around at least, but it's been carefully watched by Raucus. And this is a bit of a slow retake, and it's been led with the operator. That's aggressive stuff from Baby Bay, but Daps can't really prioritize onto it. Effie still gets oh. that frag in from behind. He's going to be working down A long. Daps is just trying to find something in the smokes. Oh, the second shock dart misses, and now all of a sudden, FaZe have an opportunity to potentially overwhelm by numbers 2v2. Corey takes one from the side. Effie's, are you good for more? Yes, he is. He clutches up, but this time, there is time for the defuse. Effie's for three, and NRG are able to make sure that Thrifty doesn't come through. And with up in the sky expecting a double beast play, but actually Baby Bay is just outside garage. Isn't being watched by anyone, and there's no utility. The Lado is good, and Cola is going to be able to sort of protect it as much as possible. Gets to yet again. Daps can at least make sure that that trade isn't punished too much. The Hunter's Fury on both sides. Who's going to play chicken? EU actually wins it out against Raucus, but is going to be caught out by Zachary. He just has the worst gun, but still wins that engagement. He is in a one versus three. NRG know where he is. They could be going up seven five. Wow, what a bounce back for NRG and almost a bit of the turntables here when it comes down to it. I mean, Bind was the first four for NRG. This was the first four for FaZe and they're both going to exit away with the team that didn't have the favor coming out on top. NRG takes seven. This is a solo play that has to be successful. It's one of two ARs that are in the mix here. Curveball comes through. Babybase position will be revealed. The Tailwind, while he was still blind, goes absolutely nowhere. And the gamble comes away completely with nothing. NRG with a 5v4. Corey fortunate to find one more kill in response up the middle. That will lead to another weapon picked up. But NRG just have oh, to find spike. a way to stay together and deal with this. The two defenders are very close to the spike. FE is letting his team know that they're in a very unfortunate spot. The smoke is going to help him out more than anything. And NRG are now going to centralize to... Take back this space that's been contested. FaZe able to do even more, actually. They get some stuff done on A short. Effie's now... The spike in hand is going to come through. FaZe Clan are going to try and meet them on the A site at least. But they, yet again, are going to be maybe hitting this B site. Man down. The FaZe Clan going to expect it. Mavd is there, but he just as a sheriff. This is a smart call for NRG. They're going to hear the Nano Storm be used. That should be a gut check call saying, okay, we've got to go to C because Space Clan are left. working their way into B right now. That's exactly what's occurring. FE's trying to plant this for a spot that they can be watched through long if they so choose. Planted. And Phase Clan can't contest. So they're going to have to play for a 3v2 retake. And it looks like they're going to try to overwhelm by just sheer force of numbers as they need to find trades of these pistols. That's a brilliant first kill for Rockus. Effie's though, able to get a Paranoia out, but it doesn't actually connect onto Rockus, who takes the second challenge at FaZe Clan. They needed to win this round. It was a tough one for them to be designed Thanks. to win, and they still pull it through. And with that, Rockus opportunity just off the timing spike alone planted. for FaZe as the spike will be planted. And now you've got NRG in a 5v4, where Corey needs to start to make a play quicker, sooner rather than later, rather, as this Empress is going to be close to expiring before the retake is even here. Corey hasn't really moved ever since he unlocked that Empress. It's almost about to finish. He needs to get a frag, otherwise it's just going to be completely rescinded. Baby Bay on the site has a rough idea on where Som is. He can get that kill at least. A lot of spaces start to be taken up by FaZe Clan. I'd expect him to lurk, though, from Daps. Look at him. He's in C-Link. Going to sneak around Cola, being a massive distraction even oh, with that run it back. 
And they're going to be expecting the Cypher to go for this defuse. It doesn't really matter, though, because Cole is the one that sort of clears it up the best that he can. Really? He's still trying to play off the site. He's got Corey to help him, but the run it back is going to be used. Corey's trying to hold off. Paranoia will stall things for a moment. As Marv falls, Corey deals with the first instance of Kohler, but NRG are happy with the first blood. They'll back away. Keep your eye on Dap's mid-map. He's already pushed very far forward. He actually could be a huge way. thorn in the side, but Zach is actually going to call up. Maybe he saw a foot, but it doesn't matter. Dap's still to the bottom of the kill. The trade is still going to be there, but a 4v3 is going to be just fine for NRG. Yay, execute coming through. The Hunter's Fury is available. Lockdown is looking run. to go down straight away. Is the Hunter's Fury no going to be used to counter it? It is, but it might actually go through and tag some of the players around this position too. Spike Almost does. The spike is going to get planted. Four versus three on the side of NRG. Rotating out is EU. Just watching the flank for right now. So it would be a three on three in the spike site itself, at least for a time. EU going to recognize the threat is a little bit more imminent than he was considering, so he'll come back to help. Corey with the Leer coming through. Paranoia for Effies, though. Really well placed. Maybe they only able to find one kill. Still trying to work their way through. Saab with the Bladestorm. Able to find one more. Corey, though, able to dismiss away. Forces a Tailwind back, but time to come a problem. Need to start making a way forward, and no more utility for him to play with. Saab will be here whatsoever, so if they gets a Cloud Burst out, Curveball comes through. And unfortunately, well, actually, no, Kohler does take down Zach. I was going to say, Zach is able to sneak on through. How about that shot from Sam? So now an opportunity for a thrifty round as Kohler and Sam continue to find more. They don't just get the thrifty, Ryan. They'll do it flawlessly. Go over through Garden. Breaks through the glass. Effies is going to hear this updraft up top. Everyone should know where Baby Day is positioned right now. And the fact that energy has stayed alive is actually not bad, but... Corey will find one kill, and with that, the spike planted, still holding backside A arch, mind you, is Raucous with the Hunter Siri to potentially come out. So for NRG, you need to start getting some kills and getting them quickly to try to force out some extra time for you to get on, and as they continue to try to spam through the woodworking of the Heaven uh, Railway, they're not able to get much of anything whatsoever. And now Corey will make life extra hard as he's able to shut the door and bait out more. Aftershock set up top. Corey still trying to hold on to an angle. Curveball coming through. This has to be the hit for NRG, but it's still just too slow. And Rockets finds kills and no hope. Daps is going to make sure that Zachary's camera is shut down. The position in the call hasn't been given away, but he kind of scuffs the first shot. Zachary finds an opening. Daps is now going to try and poise himself left. on the site. Does get flashed. His position given up and fault lined. And FaZer found an opening. Uh, getting caught by the fault line was just a little bit of insult onto injury, but Effie's finds a pick. So now it's a 2v2, but Sam has to work forward with an operator, and you've got Corey holding an angle over towards Logs. There's the peak, though the Tailwind will bait out the shots. Now Corey trying to go to the Classic, has to also go to the Reload, and Raucous, he'll be able to save a life and do one better as he finds the fight. Try and face up Paranoia for Effies. This is going to be available. He is looking the wrong way, but EU, the Recon Bolt might actually catch out a lot of information, but he's going to be sort of put out of it already. Oh, it's a lot of utility yet again, but Effies gets the first frag. Gets two. Oh, and he gets a second, and EU's there for the third. So now that EU's got information on the trap wire, he has to go to the classic because he runs out of ammunition and unfortunately cannot win the battle. So Face Clan will get the spike planted. And it'll be a 1v2 from here on out. And Daps is going to make the play up top this time around. Does have a spy cam to play with. This comes down to how many angles can he actually clear with it. And at what point do you commit to actually dropping off this high ground in which Fates Clan is directly below you? He's done well to clear out a lot of space so far. And as he's just going to go right on through, Baby Bay was ready for it. Close to having a, a, a rolling thunder, and Baby Bay is going to actually do even more damage to NRG at this point. Oh, man. This has gone from bad to worse for NRG. This is a gun round that you need to be... You need to take. You need to win this round. You cannot allow FaZe Clan to be looking at a potential 8-4. Maybe beyond that, likely maybe even a 9-3. But Daps is able to bounce back, find one kill that was on the quarry, who was holding the spike. But as EU tries to cherry pick through mid, he will also fall. So the neural that will be committed off of this. FaZe Clan looking to commit to A. They know that they've got Effies completely trapped. He does have a Phantom to swap to. It just comes down to who's actually going to chell him here. Recon Bolt will be denied. Marv considering it. But we'll still just stay very safe for the time being. And as he peeks, he will come away with the kill. Daps was only good for one. And out leaves Kohler to a 1v3 situation. He's given up his position. Shock darts will be spammed to his direction just to try to keep him 
or passively sitting, but it's Bebe who finishes the kill and now in this space the NRG have been letting 30 up. 30 seconds left. Oh, uh, so this is interesting. Baby Bay is going to sit here mid to try to see if he can catch somebody rotating, of which he's going to take down EU. Now with that kill over to A, is that enough for Bay's going to say, let's go ahead and hit this? Daps though, he's going to find one through the dark cover. Nick in a second. Sam picks up a third time, again becoming a problem. And Bay's on left. the outside with no spike. Flashpoint coming through. This is looking like a phase clan wanted to go very quickly. Marvin is going to connect with the TP. How do you miss that if you're EU? Now oh Daps needs to find a couple, and he does. More around the corner. Baby Bay will punish. And phase clan, as they lose Marv over the middle of the map, will be in a 2v2, but with a post plant setup that they can at least have in their favor. Ooh, Cola only needs to get one kill, and he's got run it back. That could be big here, but Baby Bay is watching Raptors, where both these players are coming from. That shock that is actually going to get a little... No damage in, actually, onto Effie's, who's going to be the first to saw breakthrough. Off oh, the shot misses. Cola's trying to get the spray in. Effie's brings it down to a two versus one. One v one now with Raucus. The flash has to be good. It's a nice little curve from Cola, but Raucus wins that fight. Cola is forward. Might get caught off here as he's got Corey with him playing a tight corner. Baby Bay, though, is able to find one and two. It's all gone wrong. Baby Bay holds down the trigger, and the bullet hose finds three kills. Spike on the ground. Phase Clan. Surely will be on 11. Daps lurking on B on his own. He struggles to get one at this point. Daps has been great across this map, but down. Could get a few more. It's looking interesting. He's low on health. Raucus, make sure that much like the rest of this map, the N armor and likely hit way. the blades out immediately. There they are. Last point coming through. Baby Bay is trying to find kills with this. He gets one, two, Zachary the third, and send him down to the loser's bracket. That may have been last legs there for NRG phase clan. 10 seconds, postured themselves in a certain position and set play. And Baby Bay will just get first blood like it's that. It, I, it's done. It's over. It would be in, insane for them to find nine rounds in a row. And this being one of them. Good flashpoint coming through. Marv able to find one, but EU for a trade. Raucus is going to okay. find a kill. Meanwhile, over through Garden. So this is a 2v3 situation for NRG. They do have it from the shadows to work with, but Effies is down to underneath 50 health, and that's going to make life extremely difficult considering that FaZe Clan, I believe, is fully healthy all the way through. From the shadows is going to teleport across to B. If Baby Bay can actually catch this rotating Sova, if EU gets caught out here, that's going to be pretty... Difficult. Baby Bay is reading this like a book. Are they going to expect him in that position? They are all up to the new lad Effie's in a one versus three. Nobody's near the site, so he can try and make a play here, but the Paranoia is going to give up his position. Teleports into the smoke oh, no. and disappears. Oh, this is looking awful. That's not going to happen. Zach will clean things up, and let's be honest, this has been a heck.